There's no denying immunisation saves lives. It also protects against disease, disability and people dying. We have saved more lives in modern society from immunisation than virtually any other cause. The only thing that's better is the provision of clean water. Vaccines can also protect you from common sicknesses like the flu, a seemingly harmless illness that can turn deadly. I've been told I'm a medical miracle several times by several specialists. Looking at Sarah Hawthorne and her baby Axel, it's hard to believe how close to death she came. Go see your cows. Sarah was eight months pregnant when she was struck down by the flu and hadn't been vaccinated. She'd only been sick for a few days, but within hours of arriving at hospital in country Victoria, she slipped into a coma. I just thought you get aches and pains, you get a fever, you get cold sweats, you're over it. So it turns out I've probably never had influenza before, where I thought I did. Sarah's husband Rob was by her side when she gave birth to their son Axel while in a coma. During a surgery, it didn't quite go to plan. Uh, it's, I think they lost Sarah that night, uh, so they delivered the baby uh, straight away. Uh, so he was born five weeks early. Sarah was then airlifted to Melbourne. You've got this brand new premature baby um, in one hospital and your wife's getting flown, you know, three, four hundred kilometres away to another hospital. Um, who do you stay with? Who do you go with? It was a heartbreaking choice, but Axel was stable, so Rob followed Sarah. For two months, he kept a vigil at her bedside, wondering if she was ever going to wake up. Every time you'd think, great, we've had some positive news today. By that afternoon, you get smashed with bad news. Rob even planned his wife's funeral. But in October 2017, Sarah finally came out of the coma. She couldn't walk, talk or feed herself. It was baby Axel that gave her the strength to keep fighting. I just couldn't imagine him missing out on having his mum around. Sarah's recovery and rehab has taken months and her problems are ongoing. My lungs have quite substantial scarring, so it's quite hard to breathe. I've been told that my lungs will never be 100%, nor will my kidneys. In 2017, more than 200,000 people caught influenza in Australia. Immunisation is tremendously important because it protects us, and particularly our children, from some very terrible infectious diseases. Doctors recommend everyone should get vaccinated. It not only protects them, but everyone they come into contact with. Herd immunity is just uh, a sufficient number of people have been vaccinated. They're not getting infected, which means they're not transmitting the infection. Herd immunity is important for babies too young to get vaccinated and the elderly or anyone with a weakened immune system. And when people get vaccinated, diseases can be eradicated. Australia's free Gardasil vaccine has helped reduce HPV, the human papillomavirus that causes most cervical cancers. I'm very hopeful that we will see cervical cancer eliminated, at least in the developed world, in my lifetime. Vaccination is safe and effective, and side effects are usually minor and short-lived, but can include a fever and swelling. By the time a vaccine comes to market, there has been decades of work uh, to make sure the vaccine is effective and safe. And so the community should have a lot of confidence in this process. And as Sarah and Rob Hawthorne know, vaccination saves lives. Get it. If not for you, for society, for the people around you. I have been given a second chance. I'm, I am extremely lucky. Very lucky. And not everyone is that lucky. For more info, go to science.org.au forward slash immunisation.